Hey Virgo, it's time for y'all love reading. It's time for y'all love reading. I'm just shuffling these decks real quick first. Um, I just did a what you need to know for the earth signs. Now, if you don't know, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus is earth signs. So Virgo, if you would like to see what you need to know about your person, go ahead and watch that video. It's right before this one, so go ahead and check that out after this one. Thank you for even clicking on this video. Make sure I hit that like button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But anyways, yeah, this is going to be your love reading. I'm going to see what's going on in your love life. I'm going to see how your person feels about you, how you feel about your person, the outcome. And then I'm going to pull some charms, which is right here. All right. Let's see. Virgo, what's going on in your love life? All right. These cards is already flying out. Let me get one more card. What's going on? Oh, no, that's too many. <laughs> that's too many Ooh, ten of cups okay virgo i see that you want a family with someone or you want a, a long-term commitment with someone what's going on in virgo's love life you could be starting a family with someone could be speaking about it or you know you could be trying to conceive oh Ten of Cups and Ten of Wands, you're sort of sick of either your family in general or the person that you're dealing with. Let me get a clarification on the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands. That took a motherfucking turn. Okay, so at one point you were feeling left in the dark by someone. You were, you were feeling left in the dust by someone at one point. And things may be calming down now with the Hierophant. I guess things could be more moving more traditional, moving more at a slow pace, taking your time. The Hierophant, you could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, basically, I see that you are, let me open this door for my kitty cat before she starts crying all throughout this video. So basically, I see that at one point you were feeling left in the dust or the dark by someone that you have really strong feelings for and that you can see a future with. Things could be slowly but surely getting better now. Um, but I see that, you know, you're still a little stressed about this connection. Hermit at the bottom of the deck, Virgo card. Um, you could have Virgo placements or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but basically I see that right now, you could be wanting to just stick to yourself. You could just be wanting to go into your shell and just focus on you right now. All right, Virgo, let's see. How does your person feel about you? Now you could be dealing with this person. You could not be dealing with this person. It could be an ex that's still on your mind. It's whoever it is that is on your mind right now as you're watching this reading. So how does your person feel about you? Alrighty, seven of this. They feel as if you have a lot of options that you can choose from. They feel as if you have a lot of suitors that you can deal with. I see that they want to make the connection grow. They're hoping that you'll give them the chance to strengthen the connection. Or maybe not strengthen, but you know, get back right. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, they feel like things are at an end between y'all. Your person feels as if things is over between you two. Um, I see that they want to work on things. They want to water it. You see this person watering the rose out of the concrete. I see that your person wants to work on the connection, but they feel as if, like, you know, things are completely over with you. Communication could definitely be coming. If you haven't been speaking to this person, communication could be coming soon enough. Or the communication that's coming if you have been speaking to this person, the communication could be, um, you know, them letting you know how they feel. Okay, how else does Virgo's person feel about the Virgo? Let me get one more card. I left before you could hurt me. For the ones that's in separation, whether you left them or they left you, they understand that it's before one of y'all could hurt the other. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. That's clear as day. They're reminiscing, they're thinking about you, they stay awake thinking about you, and then you're the closest person to me. They feel as if you're the closest person to them still to this day, whether y'all are separated or not. They feel as if you're the closest person to them. They feel like, you know, nobody else got as close as you did. But with the I left before you could hurt me, your person could be thinking about leaving you before you can hurt them, especially with the death card. It's like, they're willing to end things before you could hurt them. Yeah, they wanna work on it, but they're willing to end it in order to, you know, save their heart or their pride. Alrighty, Virgo, let's see. How do you feel about your person? How does Virgo feel about the person that they are dealing with? How does Virgo feel about the person that they are dealing with? One more card. Alright, let's 
flip this over. I see that you have your guard up with this person. You have your guard up and I see that you're trying to focus more on your money. You're trying to focus more on growing, whether it be your business or you just spiritually and mentally. You're just focused on growing. Um, and um, it looks like you're guarded. It looks like you have your guard up. With the Eight of Swords, I see that mentally this person is still on your mind. Mentally, you can't let them go. Um, at least not yet. I see that you're definitely still thinking of them. It's like a hostage type of thing. Like, not hostage, hostage as in they have you hostage. It's more like they're just like trapped in your mind like they got you hostage mentally okay let's see how else do you feel about your person i was about to say you're a gemini so you could be dealing with a gemini maybe that was really random okay how do you feel about your person virgin you still love your person and even though things went left between them you feel as if they were an angel to you. You still look at them as an angel to you. They could have helped you financially, mentally, spiritually. Either way, they helped you some way, somehow. And in your eyes, it's still like, okay, you're still like an angel to me. And then it was my fault, but I blamed you. So I see that you took, um, not you took, but I see that you played a role in the ending of the connection or in the um, change in the connection, but you blamed your person. It looks like you decided to blame your person. And then you are an angel to me. I'm going to move it up a little more. And then I still love you. So, you know, this is self-explanatory. You still love your person. Most definitely. At the bottom of the deck, it's I look for you everywhere. So you could look for your person everywhere. Let's say you're out at a restaurant or you're out at the club or the bar. You could be hoping to see your person. You could be hoping to um, communicate with them. Let me get this cup real quick, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting thirsty. All righty. So let's see the outcome. Before I see the outcome, I'm gonna choose at least two to three signs that you could be dealing with. Um, I'm gonna just mix this up and then I'm just choose two. That's one right there. Okay. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. And Scorpio came out. I said that already too. All right, let me choose one more. Or a Sagittarius. All right, so let's get into um the outcome. That was just something fun to do. Alrighty, Sagittarius and Scorpio, I think that came out on what you need to know about your person. Um, I noticed that, if I'm not mistaken, at the beginning of the video, I chose the signs that you could be dealing with and those signs came out. Well, Scorpio and Sagittarius, I think. Okay, so what's the outcome between Virgo and this person? What is the outcome of the connection between Virgo and this person? Oh, wow, you could be dealing with the Capricorn once again. The double card came out. Honestly, if things ended because of a third-party situation, nine times out of ten, um, that third-party situation is going to continue. I don't see that it's going to end between your person and that other person. Um, the Three of Cups could also represent reconciliation. So if you know that your person didn't cheat on you or, you know, that was never a thought in your mind, then, you know, disregard that. But the Three of Cups could definitely represent recon reconciliation. But with the Devil card, whatever toxicness that was going on, whether it was you or your person or, um, or you know, any toxic situations or traits, I definitely see that it's not really going to change. It's not going to be any type of difference if you were to continue things with this person things will slow down and become calm and good for a little bit but then it's going to go right back to that devil card with the toxic traits and characteristics what else is the outcome ah damn the three of swords for some of y'all your person did cheat on you and um like i said with that third party energy it's it's not gonna change you could be dealing with an aries the emperor came out um I see that your person feels as if they need to like take control of their life or something and that could be why they're deciding to continue the third party connection it's like okay well 
I still want to deal with this person, so I'm going to just do that, and then I'm going to try and hide it with the Two of Swords. So, um, I don't even know what I'm going to title this. I might just title this, I don't like this person. <laughs> I might just title the, the um, video that because, yeah, I don't like this person. Um, once again, though, Three of Cups or Three of Swords or third-party energy doesn't have to involve another man or woman. It could be work, it could be family members, it could be anything that's getting in between the connection of y'all growing. But in this case, I definitely feel like it's someone else. Um, and I feel like this person won't let that other person go. Not to say that they have feelings for that other person, but I just see that they want to live their life for them. It's something that they wanna do, so they're just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. And with the Three of Swords, it's just gonna result in another heartbreak for you, Virgo. Let me get one more card as to um, the, what you call it, the outcome. Let me get one more card for the outcome. Eight of Swords, you two are still going to be thinking about each other. You two are still going to be heavy on each other's mind. But the Princess of Cups, this person could be trying to come back with an offer. They could be trying to make it seem like things are going to change. Things will be better this time around. Aquarius energy, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. They're going to be reminding you of um, like the past memories and, you know, trying to make you reminisce on the good stuff. Yeah, they're definitely going to try and come back with an offer. But honestly, I don't really feel like it's going to be all that genuine. It's like, it is going to be genuine. And like I said, for a little bit, it's going to be good. It's going to be, you know, the calm after the storm. Things are going to be going great. It's going to be feeling great. It's going to be feeling like things are different. But three of disc, that other person is still going to be in the picture. Whoever that other person is or whatever the other thing is, whatever the third party energy is, is still going to be that. That isn't going to change. And that's going to have you go right back into your shell with the Hermit card. It's going to have you go right back into your shell and feeling like you were left in the dust, left in the dark, left for dead, left with the heartbreak. And you're going to figure out, you're going to try and figure out what, what did I do wrong in this connection? I'm telling you, it's a whole damn story going on. It's a whole damn story. And my kitty cat, she's trying to get in the video, but I'm not going to let her. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a whole big mess. So I, I consider not going back to that person. Um, you know, this could be something that already happened it could be something that happened in the future this could be something that's happening right now but if it hasn't happened yet just keep your eyes open not to say that it will happen to you but just you know keep your eyes open to it happening in general possibly um but i'm gonna choose some charms i'm gonna close my eyes and mix this up and i'm gonna choose at least three charms we got the lot oh something fell yep all right let me grab one more and a banana. Alrighty. Oh damn. Four came out. I meant to choose three. Fuck it. Okay, so we have the lock and the key. So I see that. I see that someone is guarded and someone is more open than the other. I feel like the one that's guarded, soon enough they're gonna try and be open with their person and you know give them the key to their heart. But honestly, like I said, I feel like nothing is really gonna change. Um, but I definitely see that there's a key and a lock here. So somebody's going to be, you know, trying to unlock the other's heart or trying to, you know, have the other person open up, especially with the two hearts here. I see that you two may be a couple that always run back to each other or a couple that feels very, like, united or something. Like, you, you guys feel like you're one. So, you know, with the lock and the key here, it's like, I feel like it could be representing that you two will always have the key to each other's hearts or not the key but maybe a spot in each other's hearts it's like even though they didn't completely unlock the the lock there's still a spot in each other's hearts for each other as you can see it's two hearts here they're merged so you could be feeling like this could be your twin flame or soulmate but a banana is here um the banana came out for once again the earth signs which is capricorn virgo taurus what you need to know about your person the banana came out i'm not too sure you know i'm not even gonna try and decipher the banana because i don't know what the hell it could even be all right sorry you guys my cat ended up just hopping on my dresser but anyways so yeah with the banana i'm not too sure maybe you two always went for fruit smoothies or maybe like you two used to go to the gym together and would get smoothies protein smoothies or just 
something about a banana and fruit is significant here maybe you two always ate fruit salads or your person is just a big fan of bananas maybe i used to have conversation about bananas i don't know what the hell the banana could be here for i don't know i don't know and i'm not even gonna try and decipher that i feel like you know whoever it's meant to get to they'll see it and think oh my god a banana yeah like they'll understand but i personally do not understand <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this reading make sure y'all like this video please and thank you make sure y'all subscribe once again i have an earth sign which is capricorn virgo taurus what you need to know about your person um i forgot what it was about for the earth sign but i remember i did air sign libra aquarius gemini and what the air signs needed to know is that their person is thinking about leaving them I honestly forgot what the earth signs was, but make sure y'all check that out. But thank you for watching, you guys. Like I said, make sure you like this video, please, and thank you. And yeah, more to come. Bye, you guys.